Hello everyone, I'm checking in to see whether I overfed Cinderella. I know I gave that container full of food scraps and I know that the container was thick with food scraps. Normally I skim coat my food scraps so that it's not such a thin, thick chunk all at once. I'm going to give these worms a fast food container. And let me just open it up here. It is full of moldy food. There's a moldy lemon, as well as some other, a paper towel, and some other pulverized moldy food there. And because that is all food, well, except for the paper towel in the container, of course, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra carbon in there, just so that it's not uh, too nitrogen rich. And what I'll do is I think I'm gonna use this inoculated paper from on top of the bin. I also added worms and cocoons and a couple coleus leaves into Cinderella since I've been in here last. So I'm just doing a check-in four days later. All right, so you see some worms on the top of the newspaper here. Uh, moisture's good. Uh, these coleus leaves were just added yesterday, so I wasn't expecting any action on those yet. So this is the area that I added those leaf stem remnants and some cocoons. This is the fast food container where I fed uh, the food scraps into the middle of it. So let me see if I can dig out this container and let's take a look. I guess the container is splitting, that's okay. Okay, there's some of the food scraps. This is four days later. I see there's a nice big chubby worm there. Oh, there's a few worms in these food scraps, so that's after four days. In that section of the food scraps, this is a avocado pit. Okay, there's a stick in there. Let me see if I can get the bottom of the container up. Okay. And I feel good about breaking this up, so I'm not trying to keep the container intact. Okay, so there's the dense food scraps that I was worried about. Um, it's still a dense and it's mildly warm. Uh, so there you go. Dense food scraps can cause a little bit of heat. I think it was a good thing that I came in after four days to take a look. Four days is sort of a minimum time that I would have expected worms to get into this area. Oh, here's our moldy orange, or moldy lemon rather. No activity on that. I think it was Anne from Plant Obsessed who fed lemons and she punctured them. So I might, uh, um, actually I think I'm gonna pause right now and just puncture that lemon. There we go. All right, so like I said, four days is sort of the minimum to expect really good action from um, worms finding something that was inside a box like this, not in a regular feeding kind of configuration. So there are worms in here, but I'm actually going to do what I probably should have done right when I fed this, is spread it out more. You'll see the cluster of worms there getting the juice that was on the box. Uh, I'm gonna spread this out a little bit more and just assess whether I need to add more carbon because that fast food container is a slow carbon. Oh, I guess I've got another lemon here to puncture as well. I didn't realize I had two lemons in that feeding. We had a whole batch of lemons go bad on us. Organic lemons, I guess they don't spray them with anything to stop them going bad. There we go. So that's got four holes each in the lemons. All right, Cinderella, how are you doing? Oh, nice and moist. Yeah, so see the casting sticking to my finger? That's my indication to add more carbon. So I've got some shredded napkins here. So I'm just gonna work this into this feeding zone. 
which will help with the moisture and just give some more accessible carbon. I'm gonna do the same to this corner right here. Looks like feathers, doesn't it? I just was on my worm chat and I just decided to tear up some napkins. And they're like two, three ply, so they separated into single ply. If you've never fed tissue paper to worms, they absolutely love this thin paper that just dissolves. So these napkins, now that they've been torn up, they will just disappear in no time. So there's a fast carbon for the worms. All right, I'll just flatten out those boxes that they were interested in. So I feel better about checking in on Cinderella's worms, breaking up that dense feeding, and adding a bit more carbon. Bye everyone.